Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. It's supposed to rain today, but it rained like at four or five o'clock this morning and it poured. It didn't really storm. There was some thunder, but not bad, but it bucketed down the rain. So check out what it did to the Nissan. Absolutely nothing. It didn't clean any of it off. So we're gonna be, we're gonna take this thing here, we'll get you to turn around here. <clears throat> We're going to wash this off. Uh, Monkey said she'd like to see it wash, so I'm, I'm just I'm going to time lapse it. But before I do, what we're going to do is, uh, you know, I'll show you a little section of it. You know, coming clean, and then i got to get up there. And I left the vet over there. That way we're not blowing stuff. So I, I can't blow it this way, so uh, so we'll blow that off. Wonder if we got rid of the bees. Yep, none of them came back. So not sure why that's on there. That's interesting. I do know he drained the gas out of it. Because he said when it wouldn't wouldn't start, had a full tank of gas and he got the gas out of it. So <clears throat> that's a good sign. But uh, also forgot to mention yesterday who this guy is. So I got a little story time about that, and we'll get into that later if I don't forget. But yeah, so what I'm gonna do. Is I'm gonna get the pressure washer out here get it hooked up and um, like I said I'll show you a little bit of this being clean you know kind of like a before and after whatever you get the idea and then I'll set you up on the with the uh, action cam and we will uh, um, I'll time lapse you but yeah, somebody commented wanted me to wanted to see me getting the bees out of there. I didn't film it because I did that yesterday as soon as she got back after I made the, the video, yesterday's video. So sorry about that. If I'd known that I would have uh, I would have filmed that for you. But so anyway <sighs> Let me get everything set up. Yeah, it's gonna rain. Um, but it'll be all right. I gotta move my little trailer, but it'll be all right because, uh, you know, I mean, I'm pressure washing anyway, so, um, let me get you, get that set up and then we'll, uh, commence to commence and, but yeah, it's a very interesting story about this guy. So, well, yeah, it's a story. It's a story. Um, actually with, um, with a video clip to go along with it so it should be cool um, then if it don't rain too bad we'll hook the battery up we'll hook a battery this thing didn't have a battery but we'll hook a battery up to it and I'll show you the lights and everything working if you want yeah I'll do that uh, I did that yesterday and uh, yesterday evening me and monkey did she wanted to see what worked, so I did that, and uh, everything works. Stereo, everything. So um, we'll go through that. It is. It does need a light bulb in the front, right front turn signal bulb. Other than that, everything works. So let me get you. Let me get everything set up, guys. Right, guys I'm gonna start you up and uh, it's gonna be loud but I'll turn the volume down for a minute and we'll do kind of like a, a before and after then I'll get you set up on the action camera for some time-lapse so. I got you zoomed in because I can't get this camera wet because it's not waterproof. There we go. It's 
so yeah um should be pretty neat i'll have to get up on the ladder to do the top because once once i show you the before and after i'll get up on the ladder i'll do the top first then the hood and then we'll come down All right, let's take a look at this. As you can see, I got some work to do. It will come off, but <clears throat> I got some bleach in there too. Once I get it all the majority off I'll wash it with bleach but I won't bore you with that but there's the before and after before and after so all right let me get you guys set up with the action cam and we'll start some music and some timeline Okay guys, you get the idea. I don't know if you can tell it or not, but that paint is coming off in certain spots, so I gotta be really, really careful. Some there, there. This is the original paint. So it's weird that it's chipping off like that. That was the first thing I was like, oh, okay. And then it just started, so I have to be careful. So I'm gonna soak it down with some bleach. What are you guys seeing up there? Okay, so that helped. Now remember guys, this is just an initial. It's gonna have to be gone over with a, with a sponge and a brush and all that stuff. But right now, I just wanna get this main crap off of here. That stuff there. And we'll get a better look at what it looks like. So I'm gonna go on, go ahead and finish this side. 
hopefully I don't peel too much more paint off I checked the paint code it is the original paint well it's the original color I don't think it's been painted so uh, yeah I did find one bumper last or one dent in the bumper last night right over there down below that fog light it's just a plastic bumper so I can probably heat that out and pull that out that's minor stuff I'm not going to worry about because it's going to be for sale the next guy can worry about that it's not like I'm going to be asking five or six thousand for it so you know I mean they're going to get a decent running car but you know I like I said with the vet I'm not going to do a frame off restoration to see somebody else driving down the road so you know but it is going to be a good running vehicle so let me continue on with this and I'll be back with you okay guys there it is just the initial wash did find a dent here I don't remember that being there because I kind of I like almost fell off the ladder and I don't think I did that because I just barely bumped it so there is a dent in it but yeah that's original paint color on that car I don't know if these are original or these these are like a different color than these so but you know it is what it is it's a couple thousand dollar car when it's done you know what do you you know they can they can uh, respray it because like I don't know I may touch it up but if you go touching this stuff up like right there see that looks like it's been uh, yeah that looks like it's been sprayed at one time I don't know this is original but I'll have to do some in inspection on it maybe I can ask him it may have been a respray and then this company sold it but uh, what I was gonna say was when you go you know touching that up a person with a with a good eye can see that it's been touched up and they want to know why was it hail damage was it in a crash was you know was you covering up rust holes no I was just trying to make it look nice no there's something wrong just get the hell out of here I ain't got time to argue with people you know if I was gonna keep it yeah I would I would touch it up or probably just do a quick respray on it but you know now when you guys if you get a car like that remember that's this bad you have surprises once you get it like this and you're thinking wow that looks good you know we'll watch this uh -huh. yeah see that <laughs> this one's like really bad you open it up and you go oh man see? But at least we got, you know, that's detail stuff there. At least we got the main stuff off of it. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. All right, I gotta go cool down and then I'll tell you a little story about this guy. Okay, so before we get to story time, Monkey Bot, you know, she's doing her Timu stuff. Check this out, Grandpa, the man, the myth, the legend. I always say the myth, the man, the legend. And I said that way because it's, you know, kind of my thing. But, hey, that is close enough. Thanks, Monk. That is really cool. <laughs> I love it. All right. Story time. It's either hot or raining. Last week, we had four days in a row with heat advisory where the heat index was over 111. But, so, yeah, I'm thinking... I'm thinking that's a respray, but it is the original color. But so I think it was a respray. I'm not worried about that. But anyway, the story is a few years ago, some of you guys might remember I did a fishing video where I, I caught a big gar. Okay, guys, I got him on the chicken liver, and he's tangled up my other line. Now, in that video, I seen an old man 
on a homemade catamaran with a big sail up and he was playing um he was playing uh, uh steel drum music old man gray beard and stuff uh this is him right here So those of you that remember that, that's the guy I bought this from. Yeah, he just lives right around the corner from there on the water. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I wanted to mention that. It's pretty cool now. Monkey thought he had a ponytail because he had this ponytail down his shoulder, clear down past his belt buckle. And uh, I said, that's not a ponytail, Monk. She said, what is it? It's his beard. <laughs> That's how long his beard is. He's got into a ponytail and then he brings it, he ties it right here and he brings it over and around and down his front. <laughs> Hello, good old man, 87 years old. And yesterday he's moving trailers around so we can get this out. Well, one trailer, but this had some wheels and tires for his Dodge pickup in the back of this. And he was just grabbing them, tossing them in that trailer and uh, you know, I'm sweating like crazy and he's not even breathing hard, man. 87 years old. He's got an old sailboat there. I don't know how long it is, 30 foot, 32 foot or something. Old sailboat. And uh, he said, yeah, he says, I got some work I got to do on the inside of that thing someday. But it, you can tell it's been sitting there for 20 years or maybe even 30 years. but. I said, have, have you ever had that on the water? He said, that's what I came down here in, from Ohio. So, yeah, he was sailing the Great Lakes. He got on a couple rivers, and he had to trailer it, like, through Pennsylvania for a little bit. And then he got back on another river, and he ended up down around, um, down towards the Mississippi River. And, but he ended up, he sailed it clear down here to St. Petersburg. Um, back in 1988 and he took a year a year cruise on it around the Carib Caribbeans and stuff and he was telling me some stories man I love talking talking to the elderly folks you know because it's just they're amazing some of the things they've done and yeah it was just some of the stories he was telling me about his trips in that boat it's a 1952 I forget what it is but he was telling me he had it in 20 foot waves and waves would actually come clear over top of the boat and it would just be drenching down inside the boat and he was he was like yeah he said that 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 time is the only time it worried me he said other than that he said it was just like a a plastic bottle floating around there he said that thing he said it it didn't mind the waves at all so but it's it's all teak wood and you know all the trim and stuff I guess the all the whole inside's teak. So if you guys know anything about wood, that's you know. but so that thing was, you know, over over thirty years old when he sailed it down here and took his year trip, you know, and he was in the Navy. I said, You ever because he's got a daughter out in California. I said, You ever uh you ever sail out in California? He said, Yeah, well kinda he said I was I was in the Navy. He said I'd done a lot of sailing in the Navy, so that's, uh, he said, that's kind of where I, you know, he said, I just fell in love with the water, and he said, I, I bought me a sailboat. So, um, yeah. But, so, that, yeah, that thing, I do see that dent there. Monkey, first thing she said, that looks nice. I said, well, you know, that's just to get the crust off. It's not really the washing part of it. And she said, 
Yeah, but still, it looks nice. There is a den in it. <laughs> she, she ain't even been outside. She's just looking out there. I was messing with her. I was like, no. Shut up. There ain't no den in it. She said, no, I'm telling you. I'm looking right at it. There is a den in it. <laughs> I said, I know. I was just telling my camera that. <laughs> so I'll tell you guys what. Um, before we shut this down, shut the video down, um, I'll go ahead and hook up a battery. And like I said last night, we already did this. But I'll show you everything works on it it's got a cd player in it the cd player actually works because i did try it with a cd last night but i'll show you everything working on it and then i think we'll we'll call it a day it's just so hot um but yeah it, it looks a lot better um but like i was telling them you know i'm not i can't you know i gotta watch the nitpicking stuff you know i'm i may pop that den out but you know i may buy a den popper they're pretty reasonable and try to pop it out because if i go you know get inside and pull the the door panel off to pop that den out and stuff and you go start doing that now you're getting into your time how much you know are you willing to pay yourself like you know i can't spend you know 80 hours on nitpicking stuff you know when that's 80 hours or something else I could be doing or working on something else that that can make me a little money so you got to watch what you do even time wise you know if you don't have anything else to do it's your only project cool that's fine but I got a lot more projects you know I got my own projects I got to do and stuff so you got to watch how much time and money you put in something like that like I was telling them I don't count hundred dollars for towing it here because that would be like me adding that adding a, me going and buying a car at a car lot putting gas in it bringing it home and then charging i got a battery light blinking and then charging you know the person that it's the same thing i'm i'm not i'm not going to do that so i'm saying right now i got 300 bucks in it hell i'd take six for it because it'd be doubling my money and I'd, I'd be making 300 dollars just for you know washing the truck so all right I, I gotta change your battery and then i'll get you set up over here and we'll see some stuff working okay real quick monkey and i's got this running joke right you know she's always been on especially her mom and me about you gotta drink the water you gotta stay hydrated drink the water it's good for you and she always thought i wasn't drinking water because i drink a lot of pop so i started leaving <laughs> the empty bottle tubes the plastic water bottles in the fridge right and, and they would build up there'd be six or seven in there and then so i started putting them in weird places so she would find them she started doing it back to me and i i i find them all over the place she'll be like yeah i put that in there a couple weeks ago so i don't know when she did this probably today but i just opened the door up on this thing Good one, monkey. You got me. I know a lot of people like to do tours of vehicles. I got a couple uh, three-inch drive Craftsman ratchets there. And there's some glasses. There's a couple pair of sunglasses over there. It's got the original books, uh, owner's manuals in the glove box. Uh, I don't know what I did with it, but there is a, I did find a, I don't know what I did with it, a knife in a case, there it is, yeah, see that, had one of these years ago, got a little flashlight on it, takes little tiny batteries, but that's pretty cool, like a little Swiss Army knife. Uh, there's those ratchets, there's a flashlight, a U USB plug. Um, this is a, I'm going to make sure he gets this back, but there's some, a lot of photos in there. And the back does have, I still say that's cool. Does have a power port there. Um, this thing you clip on here somewhere up there and then you pull it out. 
I'm just clipping on anyway it just covers up the back and you put stuff underneath it this is really cool it's a first aid kit now there's nothing in that first aid kit but the reason why it's staying there is because it's original see X Terra first aid kit it came with the truck when you bought the truck so that's pretty cool that it's still got that it's still got this and it's still got this basket because a lot of times you know when people bought these things and they couldn't pay for them they would get repossessed and a lot of times those would be sitting in somebody's garage well you know the tow truck driver that comes and gets it you know he's not going to ask is you know where's that at he's just going to hook and book you know what i mean he's going to hook on to it and take off or somebody would lose them or they'd get shoved in somebody's garage or up in an attic and forgotten about up in an attic or they'd get shoved in a garage and get stuff put on them or they'd get beat up and busted and they'd get thrown out so those are getting hard to find same way with these things you can't buy them new for this thing you can buy aftermarket stuff where are you going to find this at you know maybe maybe a scrap yard who knows but like i said it's all still here with the original owner's manual so yeah but thought i'd share that with you this is what i'm talking about now this is all detail work that's going to have to be detailed um the rubbers are still in good shape man yeah so but that's all detail work for later so let's pop this hood And let me get you on a tripod. Okay guys, let's get this hood up. What? Hang on, I left my glasses on the hood of the truck. She's gotta leave. All right, so. These jumper cables aren't the best, so. All right. All right, let me see if I got juice inside. Okay, so I got you hooked up this old battery. This was her dad's battery. I've used it for four years in the boats, but it's pretty much done for now. So it is gonna need a battery, but so I got that hooked up to that battery up to here. So let's start with the lights. Okay. Okay, we've got parking light over here. Got both headlights. I need to check them too. I didn't check them last night, the fog lights. Okay, so let's check high beams. All right. Yep, we've got both high beams. Uh, tail lights. Yes. Yes brake lights work there's one in here that works I'll put you on the stand when we check those all right so turn the lights off uh, it says security I don't it doesn't have a key fob with it I think that's the rear window I'm not sure what that is I don't have my glasses on Uh, okay, so anyway, horn works. Um, let's check the windows. I did check those too. Oh, 
That one's a little slow. It probably just needs the tracks clean. Um, does have locks here. Okay. Uh, does have a tilt wheel right here. Uh, the mirror. Yeah, the mirror's working. Let's check that one over there. Let me zoom you in a little bit. Let's check that side. It's working. Cool. Oh, well, I got a turn signal on, so let's check the turn signals. This one is working. This one's working. Shit, you're zoomed way in. Sorry. I did not check the wipers either because, you know, I wanted to save at least that much. Now, this one's blinking really, really fast. I need to check the mileage, too. But, like I said, I know. See, this one's working. Usually when one side works, uh, starts flashing really fast like that, that usually means you have a turn signal or a light bulb out, which in this case, it'd be right here. So, that's pretty cool. Pass a grill, Beach, Florida. Pretty neat. Um, let me see what else. Shut that off. Um, four ways. I'm gonna check those. Like I said, that one's not gonna work because it's a, also a turn signal, so. So the four ways are working. Um. Blower motor works. AC light does light up. Recirc light lights up. Um, uh, let me see. Yeah, it cranks. So, that's good because, you know, it's not locked up. It does crank, crank slow because, you know, that's a crappy battery. But, let me get my glasses here. We're going to be getting the carport and put up over here so I can work a lot better, you know. Uh, let's see, that's cruise control, which it does have cruise here. I guess that's cruise control there. Okay, let's do the wipers. Let's check the wipers here. Here we go. As some like those are probably not working because there are some wires chewed up back there. So this is the rear wiper and it's working. <laughs> cool. All right, so yeah, these wipers probably not going to work because of that reason so all right no big deal radio does work all four speakers does work and that the CD player works okay so I need to find let me find the um, let me find the, the running lights. I don't know if there's a switch for them or if they just come on when it's when it's running and the key's on. I don't know. But we'll check the brake lights. So let me turn this off. Uh, also, all these lights work. <clears throat> okay, let me get you on a stand. We'll check the brake lights. Okay, brake light. Cool. Alright. So all that stuff works. Also we've got I think one of those this has got an ashtray in it. Check it out guys. Isn't that cool? 
so one of these would have been a cigarette lighter and one would have been power. This one, I think, yeah, that one's your power port. And this one is a cigarette lighter, which you can also use as a power port. Okay. There's the shift lock right there. We could have used that yesterday instead of him crawling underneath and unhooking the, the linkage. That is the uh, emergency brake. You pull it out. Same. As, it's it's really similar to that Toyota. Really similar. Um, so yeah, that's uh. Yeah, I don't want to pull that emergency brake out because I don't want the cable sticking. Because I know it rolls now, and I don't. I don't want to lock it. You know what I mean. So there it is, guys. I'm gonna call it a day on this one. Monkey had to go to the doctor. Uh, this stuff, you can put stuff on there, all the plastics, you can get stuff to bring that color back. A lot of guys will heat it up with heat gun, but you got to be real careful if you're doing that. Um, I usually put like uh, WD-40 on it, or another really good thing to bring it back is, I use a lot, is uh, transmission fluid. Put it on there, let it set a while, then wipe it off real good, and then I just keep wd-40 on it brings the color back makes it look good so but yeah i think it's going to be yeah it's going to be uh gonna be decent let's put this on boost so you can hear it will crank over of course it's not going to start no, no gas and no fuel injectors hooked up but here we go i don't know if you can hear it or not <laughs> so yeah that's so we know that it's not locked up i can't see i want to see what the mileage is reading because i i know it don't have i mean look at them pedals that's not a quarter million mile pedal there, I guarantee you. It's not 250 or 225,000. It's got, what is that? It might have, let's see. I, I can't even, I can't even see. Turn the lights on here. One four six zero six two. So it'd be one four six zero six. Fourteen now it might be hundred and fourteen thousand. That's what I'm I'm thinking. Alright, well there we go. So yeah, it's a lot of nitpicking stuff, cleaning and stuff like that. Let me shut this now. Uh, you know stuff like that cause, you know there's some wires off here see these fuel injectors you can get to those ones you got to pull that plenum off um, let me see looks like see these fire in order to they fire one two three four five six is a firing order this is Let's see, I think this is number one, but anyway, it'll go. Uh, they got this number one, see, it's labeled. So, one, and it goes counterclockwise, whereas the Chevy goes clockwise. One, two, three, four, five, and six. But there's number one over here, number two's over here. So, go one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the firing order. Um, so, I'm trying to find, see, it's missing a plug wire. And you can't buy just one. I'll have to buy a whole set. They're, they're only 30 bucks. So I'm not seeing. It should be right down here. I don't know. I think it's supposed to be 
down in there so where the hell did it go it's missing one so i have to get a set of plug wires i think that plug's missing out of there i'll blow that out and check it um so someone took a spark plug wire and a spark plug out of it i don't see the wire so someone robbed it for a part for something else probably so but at least we know it's not locked up and then we've got these wires to deal with down here which those you know I can fix those with no problem these I'm still not sure I may just peel them wires back and run them direct to here if I can I don't know let's see there's a couple missing here I don't even know where they go probably up in here somewhere so I'll just have to peel them back and see if if that's feasible to do uh, I may call scrapyard first to see if they got that harness kit or not kit but you know the harness so um, yeah but at least we know it does have oil in it it's going to need an oil change but it does have oil in it so yeah all right guys let's unhook this so we don't have a fire or something that's a steel bumper cool yeah too bad it's not four-wheel drive if it was a four-wheel drive i'd keep and just turn it into a camping video or yeah camping video a camping truck but it's not but uh so there you guys go all right, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. It's hot. I got to go and get cooled down. Shea Bear, the Myth Man Legend, gone for now. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Appreciate it. Weekend's almost here. One more day. So hopefully you guys have a great weekend. Stay tuned for the next videos. Bye-bye, guys, and take care. Okay, guys. So I was just importing my video clips onto my computer. I thought, you know, I had, I thought, I think it was a Pathfinder. I had to do, uh, I put a transfer case in it for somebody and they didn't want to pay me, so I did a mechanics lien. Anyway, I ended up with a vehicle. And I was like, I know it had fog lights. How did I turn them on? So I came out here and I got to look and then I remembered, okay? So you want to turn your headlights on, you want them on low beam, and then this right here, that's your fog light switch and I remembered it, there was something on the headlight switch and I remembered it so there it is now that one is burnout that one's not working but so we're gonna need two lights well a light bulb I don't know if you gotta get that whole light or if I can just put a bulb in it I can't remember I think it'll take a bulb but yeah so the fog lights will work so just wanted to yeah, I just wanted to, uh, and it does have a spark plug down in there. <clears throat> That's good. I blew it out. and It does have a spark plug down in there, so, but I am going to have to get a, but, yeah, he said he tuned it all up and everything, and you can tell that. I mean, you know. Um, so, yeah, I'll just, uh, I gotta set this hood down hang on <laughs> this is pretty cool these are usually busted those little clips so the vehicle is in really good shape watch your eyes um, <clears throat> but yeah that's uh it'll make somebody a good vehicle I may I've got some issues with uh with the chevy the rear end's making a bad noise uh, i think it's the clutch pack in it which if that's the case i gotta pull the rear end out anyway to get to it i'll just put a whole new rear end in it not brand new but i can get a whole rear end for around 500 bucks we may just take this thing and you know put a temporary tag on this run this while i while the uh while i'm doing the rear end in the uh the rear differential in the Chevy so I think that's that's what that's what I'm gonna do because that's gonna be a winter project that truck over there it's got some wire issues too 
pack rats or squirrels was up in it and I found a plug laying there and I don't know I can't find where it came from but it did come off that truck so all right again a little bonus for you uh, so yeah I got some stories about some mechanics and liens I had to do before and keep the vehicle because you know you're not gonna stiff me with a bill so all right guys again thanks for watching bye bye and take care